Ford's F-Series pickup trucks have been the top-selling vehicle in the U.S. for 47 years, and for good reason. With many different trims, configurations, and engine options, it serves both business owners and large families really well. For the 2025 model year, the Ford Super Duty brings some important updates that improve what makes it great, but it still lacks some things that the competition offers. So join us as we expose the biggest pros and cons of the 2025 Ford Super Duty. First, let's look at all the things that make the Ford Super Duty a great truck, shall we? Number 4. Four powerful engines to choose from. The engine is the heart of any Super Duty truck, and Ford does not disappoint us in the new model year. Thankfully, we get four different engines to choose from depending on your towing and hauling needs. First up, we have the 6.8-liter gasoline V8 that comes as standard, which offers 400 horsepower and 445 pound-feet of torque. But if you're going to get a gas engine, it's a 7.3-liter Godzilla engine you should be getting with your Super Duty, costing only an additional $1,000 in lower trims and standard on higher trims. The 7.3-liter Godzilla V8 puts out 430 horsepower and 485 pound-feet of torque. Obviously, it's not as torquey as a legendary Power Stroke diesel. However, for those who don't want to deal with the complexity of diesel engines and all the emission systems it comes with, the 7.3 Godzilla is a great choice. For many people who don't haul a tractor on a regular basis, the 7.3 will be able to do all the towing and hauling tasks. For those who need the extra power, we have the Power Stroke Turbo Diesel. The Power Stroke comes in two flavors, a standard output and a high output version. The standard output of a 6.7 liter V8 turbo diesel Power Stroke gets you 475 horsepower and 1,050 pound-feet of torque, and the high output Power Stroke puts out 500 horsepower and a whopping 1,200 pound-feet of torque. Ford dominates the competition in both the gasoline and the diesel section when it comes to horsepower and torque, as neither the Duramax from Chevy nor Cummins from Ram can reach the incredible 1,200 pound-feet of torque figure. The 7.3 Godzilla also dominates the gas offerings from GM and Stellantis. Number 3. Top of the line for towing and hauling. If you're getting a Super Duty, you're going to be towing a lot, so you care about what it can tow. Thankfully, Ford Super Duty excels in this regard, with a class-leading maximum tow rating of 40,000 pounds. Well, of course, since there are so many combinations, like the cab configuration and bed length, the tow and payload ratings change a lot. But let's look at what you can tow in a single rear wheel setup. With the standard 6.8 liter gas V8, you can tow over 18,000 pounds with a conventional setup. With the 7.3 liter Godzilla V8, you can tow as much as 19,500 pounds conventionally. Get the high output power stroke and the gooseneck towing package and you can tow as much as 27,600 pounds, which is great for a single rear wheel setup. To get the maximum tow rating of 40,000 pounds, you need to get the F350 in a dual rear wheel setup and the power stroke. As with the torque figures, Ford also leads the pack when it comes to towing, as the heavy duty Silverado can tow 36,000 pounds and the Ram tows 37,000 pounds. If you're going to be towing incredibly heavy loads, the Ford Super Duty is the ideal choice for you. Number 2. Incredible Interior The Ford Super Duty's interior is a marked improvement over the previous generation, featuring a more thoughtful layout that enhances usability. While it hasn't been completely overhauled, subtle adjustments to the control placement make it easier to access essential functions. The presence of dedicated controls for radio and climate settings is a big plus allowing you to adjust these without needing to take your eyes off the road. Although some features are integrated into the touchscreen, the system itself is intuitive, responsive, and user-friendly, with well-organized menus that make navigation easy. Space is another area where the Super Duty shines. Its roomy cabin has ample headroom, legroom, and shoulder room for all passengers, so even larger individuals or full crew won't feel cramped. With the truck's tall ride height, Getting in and out can be a bit of a climb, but models like the King Ranch, with its standard retractable running boards, helps ease that process. Once seated, adjustable pedals and a highly adjustable driver's seat and steering wheel 
make finding a comfortable driving position straightforward. Visibility is relatively good for such a large vehicle, though there are blind spots typical of heavy-duty trucks. Most trims, however, come equipped with sensors and cameras to assist with visibility, especially when backing up or towing. Number 1. All the technology you could want The base XL trim of the Ford Super Duty comes equipped with an 8.0-inch touchscreen infotainment system, providing a decent level of tech right from the start. For those looking to upgrade, higher trims offer a more impressive 12.0-inch display. You can also opt for a reconfigurable 12.0-inch digital gauge cluster, which adds a modern, customizable touch to the instrument panel. The infotainment system is easy to navigate, with large volume and tuning knobs and additional physical buttons on the steering wheel, making it feel intuitive and user-friendly. The rest of the lineup benefits from a 12.0-inch touchscreen running Ford Sync 4 software, which includes wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as standard, enhancing connectivity and convenience. Larger cab configurations can also be fitted with a range of power outlets, including up to two 110-volt power points, making the truck ideal for powering accessories, whether on a job site or for personal use. All trims feature a Bang & Olufsen tuned stereo system with an 8-speaker, 640-watt system as standard. If you're after more immersive audio experience, there's an available 1,080-watt system with 18 speakers, perfect for audiophiles or those who love their music loud and clear. Now that we know what we love about the new Ford Super Duty, let's look at some things that bother us. Number 3. Nothing like a mega cab option One of the things that we absolutely adored about the new heavy-duty Ram lineup is the inclusion of the mega cab option. If you don't know, Ram comes in three different configurations – a single cab, a crew cab, and a mega cab option that has a short bed but an extended crew cab, which is great for bigger families who are looking for that extra leg room. The Ram Heavy Duty Mega Cab is by far the truck with the most spacious interior in the segment, and unfortunately, Ford still hasn't come up with an answer for this in the new model year Super Duty trucks, which is an important omission in our opinion. Number 2. Still no dedicated off-road trim An important trim we think that's still not included in the new Ford Super Duty lineup is a dedicated off-roader trim, like Ram's Power Wagon or Chevy's Silverado ZR2 that brings a lot of important off-road related upgrades to the truck. To their credit, Ford does offer the Tremor off-road package for the Super Duty, which brings a lift, skid plates that protect the transfer case and the fuel tank, electronically locking differential for the rear, 35-inch all-terrain off-road tires, and a limited slip differential for the front. It also comes with a 7.3 Godzilla V8 as standard that can be upgraded to the Power Stroke for a hefty fee. Now, these off-road upgrades are definitely significant, don't get us wrong. However, the upgrades the Power Wagon or the ZR2 HD gets are a bit more helpful on the trails. For example, the ZR2 gets recovery hooks, Multimatic DSSV dampers that give the passengers a smoother ride both on and off-road, hill descent control, and many other goodies. So compared to these more detailed upgrades, the upgrades of the Tremor package seem a bit lackluster. Hopefully, we will be getting a more focused and dedicated off-road trim in the next model year for the Ford Super Duty as well. Number 1. It will burn a hole in your wallet Everything is more expensive these days, and the Ford Super Duty is no exception. For those looking for a no-frills work truck, heavy-duty trucks have become really out of reach, and the Super Duty is another example. The cheapest Ford Super Duty is the base XL trim, and it costs $45,300, which doesn't seem too much, but as you add more and more stuff, it gets significantly more expensive. For example, if you want to get the 7.3 Godzilla V8, you're going to have to shell out $1,000. Now, this isn't too bad, but if you're getting the Power Stroke, you'll be paying a pretty penny. The cheapest Ford Super Duty you can get with the standard output Power Stroke will cost you a whopping $57,790. Upgrade that to the high output Power Stroke and it will cost you another $2,500. So if you are a small business owner who would like to get a Super Duty truck that can haul and tow a lot, you'll be paying close to $60,000 at the very least, which definitely isn't cheap. The cheapest dual rear wheel Ford Super Duty with the Power Stroke that is ready for gooseneck towing costs $61,125. Needless to say, most small business owners will simply be priced out of a new Ford Super Duty.